Bada bing, bada boom, is this thing on? I think it is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another stream. Hopefully everybody is all well. It's good to see the returning faces and all the new people that are tuning in to the Twitch slash, Twitch slash YouTube. My bad, tongue twister. It's been a minute since I have done a replay analysis. So, I think today's lesson slash topic is going to be me going over replay to see what his mess ups are, his mistakes, and give him some in-depth criticism on where he could have done something better, any punish that he may have slipped up on, you know, just player criticism. That being said, his CFN name will be Command Grab. So as we all know, I watch losses to see the best of the best and where people really messed up at. It's obvious if you're winning, you're doing something right. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch these two losses to see what went wrong. You said check casuals, rank is O. All right, cool. Yo, Command Grab versus Dash Commander? Okay, hold on. All right, we gotta see who the better commander is now. Hold up, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't hit the subscribe button on the YouTube channel, please feel free to do that. Five uploads a week, you won't miss a beat. We are slowly approaching the 5K mark. Get notified every time I upload, so make sure you turn that notification bell on to stay updated. All right, so first things first, make sure we turn these inputs on. All right. All right, so he got a dash check-in. No, my bad. He got, he got away with two dashes. That was a good V-shift. Yeah, in these situations, you end up plus so you're able to press a button it just depends on what's going on and i think that's some inside detail that a lot of people may have not noticed about v shifting in, in the corner if you time it right you actually have the advantage depending on what's happening so if if you get that third eye activated right you're plus one you're plus one what caused you to get hit right here Wait, you started moving forward? You tried the view reverse, okay, yeah. So what I'm catching from the first round is that he got away with like three dash attempts. So something that we could definitely work on with details from the first round is checking dashes. Cause if it wasn't for them dash attempts, he wouldn't have been able to start the pressure that he was able to start. All right. Oh, we didn't confirm. All right, we got a lot of jump ins going on, but hey, ain't nothing wrong with it. As long as it's working, we keep doing it. He got away with a DP. Good punish, real good punish. All right, time for the corner carry. What's the guess off wake up? Good anti-air. Punish. Nice. All right, so that was so that was a perfect G round. That was a real perfect G round right there. You capitalized off the momentum and you, and you kept the ball rolling. And you also baited the V trigger with the jump in. All right, side switch. He caught you with the mix. I feel like you're kind of a sitting duck. I feel like there's a lot of moments where you're kind of like just sitting there, just crouching. Like you're kind of scared to make a movement. Like you don't really want to commit to anything. But when you do commit to something, it's like you commit to a jump. So one thing I am noticing also is that you wanna you wanna move around. You wanna feel free. Cause right now I'm getting them stiff vibes from you. Sitting, blocking, which allows him to like control the pace better and faster. Good low. Alright, good jumping. Good command grab. Alright, good wheel kick. That was a iffy um. Yeah, this, this this isn't safe, especially if they quick rise. You never want to go for the charge up after um, will kick while they're in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of situations, I, I feel like you got caught just sitting, not really knowing what to do. So I don't know if you're kind of unfamiliar with the Zeku matchup as a whole, or that's just how you play. You definitely want to... Throw more fireballs, cause I barely no, I didn't see not a single fireball. Um, roundhouse is also a good button. Medium kick, crouching medium kick, and also your jab buffers. When you landed the hit off of jumping, you had the combo confirms because off that second round, you was able to get the momentum and control the momentum. So you know what you're doing as far as offense, but neutral kind of iffy. Yeah, move around more, control the space with your buttons, checking dashes. 
it's easy to say check dash, but it, it's something that you have to train your reaction to. That was another jumping that he got away with. That's another jumping. That was a good check on the run. Another jumping got away. Another jumping. Yeah, more fireballs. More fireballs for sure. Another dash that went unchecked. Yeah, so he's kind of like, he's taking a lot of risks because he's noticing that you're just sitting there allowing it. Yeah, so at this given time, he's just seeing that he's able to do what he wants. Like, he has noticed that. And even so, well, he kind of caught you swinging a normal, but let's say for an instant that you didn't swing a normal right here, right? At this given time, if you would have seen that he jumped at this certain angle, could have actually hit him with a jump back medium punch. That's also a real good button to throw out if you don't believe in your crouching um, fears. All right, good jumping. Good jumping. Oh, good bait on the V-shift. See, see, and that's and that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You have the momentum. You know how to control the momentum once you get the ball rolling. It's just that starting the ball is where we're kind of slacking at. All right, you starting to move around more. All right, full screen, low work. Another jumping that he got away with. All right, will kick, free level up. All right. Yeah, he's just jumping at free will because he see that you're not answering him. That was a good jab interrupt on his part. That was not a good jab interrupt on his part. So what's causing him to jab you right here? Like, what are you going for? You went for a command grab twice. All right, so in given situations like this, right? And this is also something else that kind of, it's kind of hard to realize it fast, but this is part of adapting, right? So the first guess, he interrupted you because you went for a command grab. That should have gave you the information and the quick intel that you needed that, okay, he's hitting buttons. Okay, he's trying to do something because he don't want to get command grab. So at this given time, a frame trap would have been perfect. You say, look at G's face. Yeah, because... This man is tired of getting hit. This man just got hit in the nuts, and then he's looking at the player controlling him like, bro, why did you make me go for a command grab twice? And you see, and you see he hitting buttons. But anyway, that's besides the point. At this given guess right here, you should have went for a frame trap. Like you have to condition somebody off of their previous guess. Because if I would have went for a command grab, and then I would have got in a second time, I would have either went for a throw or a frame trap to beat them pressing button. I wouldn't have went for the same option again. He got away with another jumping. And I think that's game. That is game. That's game. So an uh, overall summary of what I was able to gather from this one set. Um, you want to move more. You want to be able to adapt a little bit quicker. That's easier said than done, but you want to adapt a little bit quicker. Take note to what your opponent is doing, and that will help influence your next guess once you get close to them. Because what, cause like I said, once you got the ball rolling, you knew how to keep him guessing. You, you was throwing him. You was frame trapping him. You know how to start the offense. It's just getting the ball rolling, checking dashes, basically getting more comfortable with the character and the game. So at this point, I would say continue to play, continue to find the trial and errors, take note to what's holding you back, and continue to just push and get better at what's killing you. Yeah, I definitely need to get better at checking dashes. Yeah, checking dashes isn't something that's quickly learned. Mental stack is something that you also have to take key to. Say I jump at you three times, Commander, right? The mental stack is building, right? So now at this given time, you're waiting for the jump because I jumped on you three times. So basically your mind is focused on the jump, which allows me to dash because you're looking for the jump animation. 
So checking dashing isn't always easy, but putting yourself in a situation to where you feel like the dash has a higher percent of happening at this given time is better than kind of free roaming, if that makes sense. But quick replay analysis. Um, hopefully this helped. I know it's kind of icky wicky to gather up a lot of needed information for a player within like two matches, but this type of feedback is what helps improve somebody. So once again, y'all, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. In my previous videos, y'all seeing that my percent of people who watch my videos are like roughly 71%. So if you made it to this part of the video, please take note and thank it about hitting the subscribe button. Five uploads a week, you won't miss a beat. The road to 5K is almost complete. Make sure you turn that notification bell on and get notified every time I upload. And I will see you in the next one. You know I'm coming with more uploads. Oh, and hit that sub button. Yeah.